Hey everyone, it is Monday, October 9th, and it is conference day. I've had two no-shows already, which isn't surprising, but a little disappointing as well. I really wanted to speak to all of my parents today, but that's just not reality. How do you guys handle parent no-shows? What do you guys do afterwards? Do you contact the parent and tell them that they have to come in? Is it mandatory for your parents to attend conference day? Leave your comments in the section below. I wouldn't normally have my computer out in front of my parents on conference day, um, but because I've had two no-shows, I've been planning our math curriculum. If anyone has used investigations before, please tell me how you are finding that it aligns to the Common Core standards because I am truly struggling. I have um, ways that parents can support their child in their reading. These are the Erla Reading Program levels, and this is a brochure for parent um, parents to look at standard-based report card. These are the skill cards that go with our reading program, so I have them out to show parents what skills they need to be working on. And I don't think there's a student name on this, nope. But this is student work that I need to pass back to their parents. I actually keep all of the students' work that they do in the beginning of the year so that I can give it to them during conferences and I have something to look at during conferences and something for them to look at during conferences. This piece of paper is also my conference schedule, so I remember what parents I'm expecting at what time. Over here is our student sign-in and then some waters for them. I was gonna make like a cute sign that said, your family's like you are refreshing. Like I've seen that go around Instagram, but I decided not to do that today. This morning I actually got up about 4.50. I got out of bed about 5.15 and went to spin class with my friend Hannah as the instructor at 6 a.m. this morning. I cannot believe I did it. It's the first time I've ever do it, done it. I don't know if I'll do it again. It was great. I feel energized, but I was dying. And her class is normally an hour, but I told her I can only do a half an hour this morning. I needed to shower and get to school here at 7 o'clock because I knew I needed to get ready for conferences. And so she told me when it was 6.30 and I was done. I was ready to get off that bike. It, it's my first time spinning in so long. I used to do it a lot um, over the summer, not this past summer, but like my friend got married, I think two or three two or three summers ago, two summers ago, and we all did it together. And it was a great exercise. It was a great way to spend time with my friends. Um, and we went every day and it was so much fun. We were in the best shape of our lives, but life catches up with you. And I really hate working out. I really hate working out. Um, but I know that it's something I need to do. It's something that I want to do. I just need to do it. <laughs> All right, so it is 8.15 this morning. I've had two no-shows. My next one isn't scheduled until 8.40. I do believe that this parent will show up at 8.40. He's a really great kid, that one, and I'm really looking forward to um, getting to talk with his parents. So right now, I think I'm just gonna spend some time planning and making my PowerPoints for this week and next week. Yeah, I might as well. If no parents aren't gonna show up, I'm gonna use this time to plan. All right, so I have successfully completed about six or seven conferences out of about 10. I've had a couple no-shows and one parent was late, but that's okay. I think that when a parent shows up, now's the time to talk to them. So um, some of these parents you can't really get a hold of throughout the year. Um, and when you see them, you doesn't matter what time your conference is scheduled, you wanna speak to them right away. It is about 11 o'clock. I don't have another conference scheduled until 1220. So I have a lot of time to just sit and chill. And I think this is the time that I'm gonna to use to eat my lunch. We had Joanne Fabrics kindly donate so many things to our school. So our whole staff was like go, running down to the cafeteria to look to see what they gave us. And I got a lot of cool stuff. I did um, pick up a photo album and some like planner stickers and a lot of the like clips to make different designs that like clamp to um, cut the paper design cutters. Like, I don't know what they're called. Um, and I'm just sitting here getting um, some work done that I'm in from a class that I'm taking. Um, it's called FAME, Formative Assessment for Mail-in Educators. Um, so I'm just in here listening to all the different lessons that and doing the work that I have to complete. And hopefully um, my 1220 will be here on time. I don't have any um, more after that. Actually, um, I should look at my list. I think I might have like two or three, but there are probably gonna be no-shows. I did have those students tell me on Friday that their parents weren't gonna be coming today, um, which was kind of disappointing and frustrating after I've already sent home the paper that you've um, committed to a certain time and that time is your time to have with me. And then when a parent says they're not gonna come, um, it's very frustrating because a parent probably could have had that time slot or um, like I said, when a parent shows up, I don't care what time it is, I'm willing to talk to them. So I'm gonna um, eat my lunch and do some of my class and I'll check in with you guys at the end of the day. I got a little cold in my classroom as I'm waiting for conferences so I had to put on my Aron Clark Academy jacket. I love it, it's so comfortable. 
So I'm almost done conferences. I have one more that is supposed to be coming at three o'clock. I'm hoping they show. It's currently 2.20. I had one at two o'clock that went very well. Um, I should do a video on how to prepare for parent conferences. So give this video a thumbs up if you want to have a parent conference video come from me because there's been quite a few things that I've thought of that should new teachers need to know and I think veteran teachers is a good refresher and it's just something that I've learned throughout my years of teaching. Um, so yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a parent conference video. Something else that made me really happy today is I had a previous student of mine come and give me a letter and I told her that I would feature it on my YouTube channel because of course it says live, love, and teach and how could I not feature it on my YouTube channel? So the front of it has her name so I didn't want to show that but she did make a cute letter and she knows who she is. So, so sweet of her to draw this for me. Aww, how cute. I love it. Thank you so much, sweetie. And then here's the letter. I don't think this letter has her name in it, but for confidentiality. No, this doesn't have her name in it. But how so cute is this? Oh my goodness, she is my favorite. Um, I love how you said, I hope you teach them well, like you taught me well. Um, way to use good and well in the appropriate way. And if I'm wrong in using good and well in the appropriate terms, then leave a comment in the section below because I'm pretty sure she used it in the correct tense. Um, and that makes me very proud as a previous fifth grade teacher. So I love you. You know who you are and I appreciate you and I love my little notes that you give me and I love that you come to see me all the time. If any of my previous students want to come see me, you guys know where to find me. But now I teach second grade so I'm not in the fifth grade trailers. In fact, fifth grade is not even outside either. Third grade is this year. Fifth grade is in the building. So I will check back in with you guys after my last conference. Today has gone very well, but I haven't, I did end up getting one lesson done out of my class, um, one out of four lessons, which is good. Well, no, it's like one module out of four modules. I did all the lessons in one module, if that makes sense. Um, so I'll check back in after my last conference. All right, so it is the end of conferences. Today was a really great day. I am leaving at about 3.30 p.m. I'd say that's a record.